Okay, everybody. Uh, to this uh, twelve part, I want to show you how to use session start and session destroy. Yes, what is the different PHP session? Uh, PHP session is easy start by making your call to the session start function. This function for check if a session is already started. And if none is started, then it start one. It is recommended to put the call to the session start at the beginning of the page. Session variable are stored in a source area called session. This variable can be accessed during lifetime of session. The following example start a session then register variable called counter. That is incremented each time the page is visited during the session. Make use of I set function to check if session variable is already set or not. Put this code in test.php file and load the file many times to see the result. Okay, so right now we go to write the code. Okay, I go to I close code here. Okay, right now I create a file and I show test.php. Okay, right now we want to write code. And I use the session start. Yeah, we want to start the beginning of the page. Okay, and then if yeah, we use the I set session. Counter. Counter and session. Here on I wrong, we remove S. And counters. Increase number ones. S session. Counter. Equal ones. Okay, so when I want to echo the message, This page and I call a session IDs counter press and the message that we want to use combine string. Okay, right now we want to call the PHP and I go the message. Okay, right when so right now I so say we go to the browser. Yes, I click the test. So you can see the number one in this. Okay. 
So I go to Yes, I want to add the bridge. Okay, I save again. So I refresh page. Yes, when I refresh page, it uh, means that the page number two is increased every time. Yes, when I re click the assign refresh, you can see the number refresh every time when I want to refresh page. Yes, right now we go to yes, session destroy. Right now we want to destroy counter ID. So, destroy a uh, PHP session. A PHP session can be destroyed by session destroy function. This function does not need any human. And single call can destroy all the session variable. If you want to destroy a single session variable, then you can use the unset. Yes, if we want to destroy the um, session with a single, we use the unset. Right now, I want to destroy. Yeah, we use the unset session and counter ID. Here is the call with we are destroy all the session variable. If we want to destroy all the session, we use the session destroy. Okay, and I will go to the page. Oh, I want to the code. Yes. And now I use the page destroy. For example, and set dot page page. Yes, yeah, so I use the unset. Now, right now, I want to use the session. Yeah, we use a counter. Okay, right now, I sell. I go to the page. We want to destroy set. The PHP session undefined variable system. Go to okay, we use the start page or session. Okay, and right I want to refresh page. So mean that the session de destroy with a single. So I go to the I go to yeah we go to the test dot play again. Mean that right now session start over again page once. Two, three, and we, right now we want to destroy again. Uh, and says so there is no any more counter ID. So I refresh test. Yes, start the number one over again. And right now, if we want to destroy all, we use like this. So we go to and I use. The destroy, yeah, destroy function. We know session destroy. Okay, right now we want to refresh. Yeah, I want to you you unset. Okay, right now destroy all. The session. So and I go to test. So right now I start one again. Okay. Okay. So right now is a uh, how to use the session. Uh, session start. 
and session destroy i want to finish this uh, with the part 12 so in the next time i want to show you how to log in with the sessions uh, session start and session session destroy to the login dashboard okay don't forget to follow me in the next time thank you so much everybody watching my video